To be perfectly honest with you guys, I didn't begin drawing until I was like way older. Popped out three kids older. Okay, so by the time I figured it out how to draw a really good face, like I thought that was kind of the end. Like I thought I had reached the top. But what I didn't realize is that you cannot not do this. My name is Karen Campbell and I live to provide free, fast, and fun art tutorials to make you a better artist. As you set about your art studio today, I want to have a very serious conversation with you about the importance of layering when you're doing your portraits. And I don't care what medium you guys are working in, you could be doing watercolors, acrylics, mixed medium, and today I happen to be working in Copic markers. And I do not care what medium you are working in. If you want to show any sort of depth and dimension to your faces, you guys have to learn how to layer your materials. And I guess I should back up and say, you don't even really need to learn how to do it. I mean, really just execute on that layering principle, okay? So when you're going out your drawing, about your drawing and your designs, okay, you always just wanna start with like a, a medium to light tone. This way, you have many chances to deepen and darken as you go. And you can kind of ease into it slowly. So for instance, in this project, I'm doing like a really light skin tone, but this would work exactly the same if you were working in acrylics or watercolors. And you can just do the whole thing in a light color. And then for your second layer, you wanna add a little bit more drama. So again, I don't care what medium you're working with, but add a second layer hopefully of many, and that starts to add the drama slowly. And what you can do is just stay away from the areas that you want to leave highlighted. But the cool part about layering, and here you can see layer number three, is you go darker each time, and then you make the shadow areas a little bit smaller each time you go around. And then when you're ready to blend, I want you to go back to a lighter color and work between the areas of dark and light. And that's how you get that nice blended gradation from the deep dark shadows along the hairline, around the eyes, under the nose, under the chin. And that's how you gradually get them to the lighter areas without having an awkward, like rough, transition. So it's going back with the mid-tone that's between the shadow, between the highlights to blend the dark and the light areas together. And again, this works in any medium, you guys. So I want you to, when you're doing your faces, to do at least three, preferably four to five to six layers of your face shading. Okay, so we're going to start with the light go a little bit darker, a little bit darker still, and then you go back to the lighter to go over the areas to smooth out the transitions. So I hope that all makes sense. This cutie patootie drawing I did for a drawing prompt in Jenny Mano's Facebook group over at Next Generation Art. And I hope if you guys are doing this lesson, you're having an absolute blast this week. There is my layer number five right there. And I'm using a different skin tone this time, more of a pink skin tone to add added emphasis around the eyes and the cheeks to bring those out. And you, can you guys see all those layers in there? And as the Copic marker dries, these all lighten and blend even further together. Just add a few pops of white highlights and that really sparkle brings her to life. And again, use that paint pen in all of your mediums from your mixed media works to your Copic markers to your watercolors and those little pops of white, white highlights on the end of the nose and the mouth and the eyes really make a huge difference. And look, one more layer yet still of shading for the neck and another one to blend them all together, just like I was discussing. And for a final touch, you can go with a gray and put an outline around her and that will set her off in all the right places and give the entire face and portrait 
beautiful added dimension. You guys, there's another layer. Don't be afraid to layer, you guys, and have such a blast this week. See you in the next video.